Kenny's Yacht Maintenance, welcome back. So today we're gonna be prepping this David for a dinghy so we could uh, take care of all this corrosion and then apply primer and paint. So you could see all the corrosion. Some of the corrosion I believe were caused by those nuts. It seems like they had stainless steel nut bolt, stainless steel bolt, but zinc nut. And you should know that zinc and steel doesn't agree, they fight each other. So you could see it causes all that corrosion. The zinc nut on the stainless steel is fighting each other. So um, yeah, we're gonna have to strip off most of that paint using a wire brush on that electric wheel and get all that surface to be nice and shiny so we could apply the primer. Now, this David is set up for this specific dinghy and I don't I have to draw a diagram of both pieces of where the bolts are so I could I'm gonna remove those pieces so I could get each of them painted individually and then I'm, I will be able to mount it back exactly in the correct holes where it's set up to fit that specific thingy so I have a diagram of either side so I could put the bolts exactly where they came from on either pieces. Now check this out. The paint is peeling right off the surface and there's no evidence that this surface was ever primed before they painted it. It looks like they just threw paint right over the surface. No primer. If there were primer, you would see some kind of different color. Check this out. It's coming right off of the surface. We're gonna use some paint stripper. And just paste it everywhere so it could bubble the rest of that paint and get it off so as you could see we stripped off all the paint from the aluminum. So we use the paint stripper and then the grinder. It's important to get all the surface shiny before putting primer. Uh, it's important to use your eyewear. You don't want any of that stuff sticking into your eye. The money you're making on this job is just not enough to pay the eye specialist. So Word to the wise, keep this on. And we, we go in between. To really clean out all the welded joints. We want all the surface to be shiny. Now, it's important to note, I prepped this a couple of days ago and just sat it in the workshop so I could get other projects done. So the fact that it was sitting for a few days, you don't put primer on until you actually sand the surface again. Please do not use any solvent on the surface. After using the grinder with uh, 60 grit sandpaper, So as I said, I prepped this couple of days ago. It sat for two or three days. Before I put primer, I wanna just go over, quickly go over all the surface. 
because the couple of days that it sat for it's building up oxidation it's exposed to the air so you really want to just get it fresh a fresh sand then dust it off really good do not use a rag do not use any solvent you could use a paint brush a clean paint brush or this is just a broom dust all the surface make sure it's dust free you could also use a blower blow out all the dust the important thing is to get all the dust off the surface no rags no solvent not no denatured alcohol nothing on the clean sanded surface and i'm gonna be using the max core made by all grip this is the base this is the converter for it i'm gonna be spraying on probably two coats of the max core let that kick and right over the max core i'm gonna be shooting uh 545 all grip 545 primer so i'm gonna be doing both procedures the same day as long as it tacks up the max core tacks up i'm gonna be going right over the max core with all grip 545 so stay tuned can is your maintenance now how do you take care of all the junk in between all the holes and you don't want to put paint and primer without cleaning off all those holes that's for the bolts all those holes because this is all loose paint and the corrosion gonna start right over if you don't prime clean and prime and then paint inside the hole so how do you do it i'm using a file a wrong file and i'm just gonna go in and that's the way i'm gonna sand all the holes to clean them up getting it done the right way takes a lot of time trick it's good to have a fan or a blower blowing the dust away from you while sanding so in that case I got a fan here at high speed and it's actually blowing the dust away from me so in that case I'm not wearing a dust mask I'm not endorsing that please wear a dust mask please wear eyewear but for demonstration purpose this fan is blowing the dust away from me. Check it out. That's why we work smarter. Everything is sanded and ready for primer. I'm gonna figure out a way to hang them so I could shoot them. Stay tuned. So just in case you finish prepping all the stuff and it's too late to apply the primer or it started raining or any stuff like that. What I would do, I would wait for the next day. I would cover the stuff with, put it in a, in a garbage be a uh, trash bag plastic bag clean trash bag just put them in there so that they're not exposed to the air and the salt and just the overall atmosphere so that's what i would do put them in a clean trash bag and wait for the next day when you could prime it so uh, you don't want to leave it exposed to the air for too long so we got them all hanged in. So we mix in two parts of the base, max core, 
one part of the converter and we're gonna just stir it up and let it sit for a little while So it's almost an hour since I put on the anti-corrosive primer. Now, an hour later, I'm mixing up some 545 or grip 545 primer, gray. I'm gonna let that sit for 15 minutes before I apply it and I'm gonna spray two coats on right over the anti-corrosive mat score uh, the chemical is still active it's gonna bond no need to wait to sand it it's just gonna bond right to the surface it's dry so stay tuned now I'm gonna add just about 10% of the standard reducer for the primer that's about 10% So we got two coats of Max Core Anti-Corrosive Primer followed by two coats of 545 Gray Primer which is also anti-corrosive. So this aluminum surface is well protected. Now we just got to sand it, a light sand, probably just a 320 grit sandpaper and shoot probably three coats of all grip top coat. Stay tuned for the progress. Now we are using 320 grit sandpaper to sand and we are sanding by hand, hand sanding only. We do not recommend using a sander because the sander is going to burn the edges. There's many different radius corners that the sander is going to burn right through and we don't want exposed metal. Uh, we want to have primer over all the surface so the paint could really stick to the primer paint is not gonna stick very well to bare metal it's gonna peel right off so with sanding by hand there's much for more gauge you could actually see what you're doing use a rag
This is the finished product. All the bolts and nuts were replaced with stainless steel bolts and nuts. I'm the proud product of Kenny's Yacht Maintenance, where we're in the business of working smarter, not harder.